To the world. Hi, I'm Keith. I got Lifestyle RV here in Reno, Nevada. And uh, Keith is going to walk you through, by the way, he's the owner of the company, and he's going to walk you through all the products that he has. Okay. Go for it. What do we got? Okay, guys, what we have here is Travel Lights product. This is TLRV, and they build a nice, lightweight little truck camper. One thing about Travel Light, when they say their model name, that is actually their floor length. So that'll be what's in the bed of your truck, five foot nine inches. This particular model kind of fits a multitude of trucks. If you notice how narrow it is here, we're looking at ability to put in a, something as small as a Jeep Gladiator, Ford Ranger, Toyota Tacoma, Nissan Frontier, those type of trucks. Because we're narrow, you have a 42 inch wheel well in those trucks. We have 39 inches here on display. You have to do a little bit of a lift. I've been putting it in the half tons, some of the the dense styrofoam you'll get from Home Depot is insulation. That'll give you that lift and save weight. Actually adds a little more insulation to the floor. Now we can now cover the cab height of some of the taller trucks. Width-wise, if we do some torque lift tie-down systems, we can extend the outriggers out to where we can come and now miss the jack points and clear coming down to your tie-downs. So to prove it, we brought out the same 590, that five foot nine camper that we started with and put it on an F-250 long bed, but some people might want to use that for extra storage. But I just wanted to prove that this camper, even though it has a narrow profile in the floor link, can actually fit onto a full-size truck. So again, we can go from a Ford Ranger, Toyota Tacoma type of uh, profile for a mid-size truck, all the way up to a full-size uh, truck camper combination. One way we do that is helpful with these torque lifts. This is a frame mounted tie down system. I highly recommend when we get into any campers with any weight or heft to them, of course. Uh, so you got your frame mounted stuff with two areas to secure to. So I can pull this outrigger further out. And by doing that, we can get this chain away from our body. That's how we pull this off with a smaller camper. That's a good example. I mean, like you said, this is not exactly how you'd probably set it up, but it's an example of what you could do. Tiny, tiny camper on a big old truck, you could do it. Just gives us a lot of uh, options for trucks, is the whole idea yeah. here. And it would look even better if you had a smaller... Oh, gosh, yeah. This is just uh, as an example for fit. For fit, exactly. That's a good point. Yeah. Very cool. So this little camper happened to come in the fiberglass package. It is an option. Right behind us, we have the metal sided one. So you can kind of see a difference when you see a little bit of a ridge, but it is a wide piece of, piece of metal. It is 40 gauge aluminum. That's why you won't see any waves or look down the side of this type of camper. And they've improved over the years to get to this kind of a thickness so we don't see that kind of, of a movement. Fiberglass, you won't see it. It's more like a boat, more of a smooth wall look anyway. So on a little 590 camper, We've got nice little bed up front, refrigerator. This particular one is air conditioner and also power jacks. There's also a microwave up here. So go in here. Yep, yep, it's stable. So in this one, you get at least a, uh, a microwave, double cook top, stove top, and then your little dinette table is right here. It sits on a little tripod. We can put it down, make it into a bed later, but that's gonna give you an extra bit of storage in the bed. Too. How big is this bed considered? You know, this is a 48 inch by 74. It's the full width of the camper, basically. So you've got a pretty good length. Uh, we didn't go extended on this particular bed because we want to try to save weight. Yeah. This particular camper wow. came in around 1398. 1398. I could fit that on my truck. <laughs> we want to just establish what your payload is, and then from there, if you're close, we will fit it. But you might want to include airbags. Yeah. Give you a little more stability. So my new Tundra, I have a 2022 Tundra huh? that came from the factory with airbags. Oh, really? Yeah, I yeah. got the model with airbags. Oh, nice. So this one actually technically would fit on my truck. So that's yeah. nice. I like yeah. it. And it's, this is the smallest, probably the smallest you can go. Right? It is the smallest at five foot nine. Mm -hmm. So um, on a on a regular standard short bed at six and a half feet, this would not go past the bumper. Mm -hmm. uh, we probably could even shut the tailgate on it. I like the fact though that this has basically everything. Oh, Heater, it's all in a small package, yes. Stove, water, fridge, and it's, it even has a porta potty. 
And as usual, always an outside shower. Yeah, take, yeah. Yeah, take a shower outside. But yeah, you can do everything you needed to do. So for hunters and stuff, you want a little camper, cabin on wheels, that's it. There you go, there you wheels. go. Honestly, I just like making a motorhome out of your truck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like it. And oh, uh, how much is something like this? This particular one weighs equipped with the fiberglass package, your air conditioning, and we have remote control power jacks. It's $23,995. Okay, so when you have that much you know, features, you're going to pay just over twenty five. dollars Yeah. Which makes sense because these things are not cheap either. They're a little harder to build. People don't realize truck campers are kind of built uh, a little different from travel trailers. Travel lights tend to, you know, you roll down the assembly line with a travel trailer and kind of put your cabinets in and put the walls on. On a truck camper, you're doing a little bit different. You have to build a lot of it from the inside out. So a lot more man hours involved. Again, they don't roll down the assembly line. So little things like that. So a little, uh, little harder to build. Next one in line, this model is your 626, so it's six foot two and a half inches. Fits a full size truck, cannot go into a Ranger. They have three models that go into a, a, a Tacoma or mid-size truck. This is a full size, you can see the width at 47 inches to fit a 48 inch wheel well. So nice little camper at six foot two and a half. Again, on a short bed, standard short bed, you can probably shut the tailgate on this. Now we've got an extended bedroom, so you'll see a 54 inch bed. It's so a little bit wider bed, a little more elbow room up yeah. in the bedroom area. I feel it already. Oh, I feel yeah. like it's a little bit bigger. I mean, for a six foot floor length, you are, you know, it just feels a lot larger. Mm -hmm. Pretty loaded too. Air conditioning, microwave, stove top. Got the little two way refrigerator, gas electric. I kind of like this layout, how everything is all right here. It's, it's all on one side. It's kind of nice. I like that. Got a little bit of a nice feel to it, and you got your sitting on a dinette, makes a bed, of course, with your dinette table, and then that'll uh, be a pretty good little sleeper from the looks of it. Yep. Can make More it work. Porta potty stores in here, and of course, they all come with the porta potty on the models without bathrooms. Nice. And this this bed just stays fixed like that. Yep. There's nothing slides nothing. on the side. Yeah. What was the dimensions on this bed? It is 54 by 74. So I could fit up here no problem because I think I'm what 72 inches, I think, something like that. Yeah, we're yeah. we're getting um, a lot of people in this one size wise. Yeah, I like it. It's nice and comfy. All right. Tankless water heaters now, so we're getting the water heaters that will heat up a lot faster. Saves a little water consumption. So tankless means what is that like on demand? On demand. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, just a few seconds when you're heated up. They've gone to the fiberglass caps, almost all of them now. So we'll see the, the molded fiberglass cap on these campers. Keeps its shape, just looks richer, a little aerodynamic cutaway. More aerodynamics, that's always good. Yeah, you'll see them over here with the white and the black and the travel lights. These are the larger campers now with the, the bathroom shower combos in them. You still take a look at those? Sure. Yeah, cut right through. Fiberglass package on both of these. So now you've got the gel coat fiberglass on the side, tankless water heater, outside shower. This particular one is an 890, so it's got a double propane tank. We'll, nice. we'll start with 840. And again, with Travelite, when they give you a model name, that is their floor length. So on an 840, we're coming in at eight foot, four inches. Yeah, so this one's actually pretty nice. I ordered this with the couch. It's a real piece of furniture, so to speak. So you've got a real comfortable uh, couch setup. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is. This That's is nice. the sound I get when people <laughs> when people sit on this couch. It's flush. It's really it is. Flush. It right. is nice. Yeah. That's what I mean. Not uh, just the cushions we see in some. So pretty the well laid out. The aesthetics. They've gone the just this lighter, modern look. So we're really happy with it. Makes it feel bright and open. So a nice little, nice little feel all together. Yeah, just. Uh, a lot of storage. Got your little up here too and cook stove. Pretty heavy duty, heavy duty countertops. The uh, little dinette table is made out of the same material as this countertop. This bed looks like you've got some storage on the sides. As yeah, well. this is an RV queen with foot lockers on both sides. This particular model, we see aluminum steps were left up here, so that's going to be a uh, comes with it. And then uh, this couch is a simple flip sofa. Uh, real, real easy to just put up and down for a quick little bed or a nap. That's nice. Yeah, no, that's uh, makes it real easy for an extra sleeper. A little bit of storage under this little area too. 
So we can store our bed poles and tripod base in there. Bigger refrigerator, we got a five cubic foot now. So you're gonna see the freezer and extra shelf in this one. Bigger fridge is always a, a welcome sight. Oh, it sure is. And you'll see a nice little bathroom with a vanity. Here's the big difference. The other two did not have bathrooms. This, you My wife would be happy. There you go. Well, that is important. Yeah. It's going to be tight, obviously, it's a truck camper, but at least you have it. That's the main thing. Cool. So now we go to the 890. So again, eight foot, nine inches, still not a problem. Hanging off a short bed is a common thing. Just have to add a little hitch extension. And depending on the weight of the trailer you're pulling, you'll realize uh, power or size of that hitch will be improved if you need a more distance to haul a heavier load. Most people for boats, jet skis, side-by-sides, they really don't need more than just a, a 12 inch hitch extension. So now this one you'll see is a little bit bigger yet. We have a horseshoe dinette. Makes a little bigger sleeper too. You can probably seat three or four people here comfortably. Yep. And of course it makes it into a bed. Yeah, yep. this one when you Definitely put the, feels bigger. Got a little room in this with the just a really only like five more inches mm -hmm. on the length, but it uh, feels a little bigger yet. Same bed though, right? Yes. Yeah, same yeah. size bed. So north south bed, got the foot lockers on each side. Same refrigerator, we've got the big five cubic foot. The only thing bigger in the industry in this size unit is a six, so you'll get an extra door is all, but this freezer's adequate. And you've got um, a two-way gas or electric. The, the other feature. refrigerator was over there, right? And yes, they moved, they moved them around a little bit. Um, okay. Bathrooms even on the other side, you'll see here in a minute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so decent countertop, nice stainless steel microwave, and just that Aesthetic feel Travelite's doing with their lighter interiors. Kind of more open and modern. I like it. Given their quality of their fabric. Well, you'll see a little bigger sink vanity combo in this bathroom. Yeah, I think. For those uh, emergencies. And then a sink. The other one didn't have that, right? I don't think so, yeah. I didn't see a sink. So yeah, this is an improvement. So this is nice. Again, it's a truck camper, so it is going to be small. But I love the fact that it has one. <laughs> it's so nice. <laughs> No, no closet area in this one. Closet, and it's actually a hanging closet. Oh, good. Shirts and jackets. Look at here. Well, um, a lot of guys will make comments about truck campers. They're like, oh, yeah, there's, there's no storage. It's a truck camper. There's not going to be a lot of storage. Right. Well, it's versatile. I mean, you can go places you just couldn't take a travel trailer, big... motor home, things like that. Yeah, this is going to go up to those mountain lakes that you can't bring a trailer. Oh, oh gosh, yeah. That is the idea. All right, guys, so if you're interested in taking a look at Travelite truck campers and you're in the Reno, Northern Nevada area, tell them where to go. Again, I'm Keith from Lifestyle RV in Reno, Nevada. Our contact information is 775-852-4888, and our website is lifestylerv.com. Thanks again. There you go, guys. Come to Reno. Check out some campers. Thank mm -hmm. you.